Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are setting up our 5M server in 2021. Now, you may be wondering why am I doing a video of setting up my 5M server again, even though I did one like three months ago. Well, they've changed the system for setting it up and it is a lot easier for new people to set it up. Um, it uses a nice GUI interface. It makes everything really, really easy to do. So we're gonna go over that today. There's a few things you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need the documentation, which will all be linked in the description below. Um, so you'll need your documentation here. You'll need the latest recommended build for 5M. I'll go over how to install that momentarily. You will need an account on the CFX website, which is their forums website, which also hooks into Keymaster, which uh, you'll just sign into with your same CFX account from the forums. Um, so all the links to these are down in the description. If you don't have an account here, it will ask you to sign up for one before you actually register anything. So make sure you have your account set up here. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, so setting up our server, pretty much the ultimate easy setup guide goes ahead and says go to the artifact server which is this little uh, website here and you're going to go ahead and download the latest recommended version of the artifacts what this is is this is the server artifacts this is how the server actually runs it uses all the files for running and everything so it's quite easy to set up all you have to do is go into file explorer go into your this pc folder and go to wherever your local disk is it may not be c but most uh computers have the local disk as c and you're going to go ahead and create a new folder and then in this folder you're just going to name it like new 5m server or whatever you want but make sure there is no spaces in your folder at all i also highly recommend going ahead and pressing this down arrow and making sure under view the file name extensions and hidden items are set to checked the reason i do uh this is because it just makes it a lot easier easier if you're modifying files or anything. Um, so I highly recommend that even though we won't need it in this tutorial, I do recommend it for the future. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to have to unzip that file you just downloaded and drag the whole thing, everything in it to that new folder you created. You can just dump all of the files in there. No need to make any different folders or anything. Just drag it all in here. Um, you do want to make sure you have this fx server.exe file. This is what's actually going to be running the server for you. Um, one thing that a lot of people had issues with last time is their antivirus is removing this. So make sure you whitelist this on your antivirus or something like that. It's not a virus. I've never had a problem with it and hundreds and thousands of people use it. So just know whitelist it if you're getting a issue with it removing the file for you. Anyway, now we can go ahead and double click this exe file and it's going to go ahead and bring up a new web page. And what this is, is it's going to bring up a localhost 40120. It is like the setup system for the new easy guide and it's also a nice little panel to control your 5M server so you don't have to do it all by command line like we used to. Um, so this will go ahead and autofill your uh, pin from your setup. I'm going to be blurring out my pin but it should autofill it for you. The reason I'm blurring it out is I just don't know if it's supposed to be uh, public or not so I'm going to go ahead and blur it out. Just go ahead and click link account. Then it will go ahead and ask you, is requesting your permission to link your account? And it will sign in automatically as long as you're signed in on the CFX uh, page to your CFX forums account. And you're just going to go ahead and press yes, allow. In a moment, it will go ahead and re go back and ask you to type in a backup password. So I'm just going to type in a backup password here. There we go. And you're just going to go and press save. Just remember that password because if you ever need it, you will want that password. Um, it will say, welcome, your username. Since you don't have a profile, we select default. All you're going to do is click next. And this is where you're going to type in your server name. So I'm just going to name it BGHD Development Server Test or just literally BGHD Development Server because there is a cap to that. Go ahead and press next. This is where it's going to get a little bit different since we used to how we used to do it. You can actually install ESX directly from here. I will not be doing that in this video. I will be doing it in a video next uh, later this week slash next week. So stay Stay tuned for that because I'm going to go through how to set all that up, but we're just going to go ahead and click popular template and do the CFX default, which will just install the default files. You're just going to use the suggested um, path that they suggest. It will be in the TX data folder inside of your C drive. This is the easiest place to put it rather than creating folders for yourself. Just keep it in that uh, C drive folder. Go ahead and press save, and then you're going to go ahead to recipe deployer. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually show you all the things it's doing. Just click next. You don't have to worry about this. This is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated because we actually have to install our license key. Our license key, we 
we get from Keymaster. Now, before you create a license key, if you already have one, use the same key you already have. The reason for this is because you are limited to three keys. Um, if you already have one created through a previous setup or something, use that. You do not want to recreate a key that you uh, already have. So just use a key if you already have it, which is what I'm doing. To use a key you already have, just click on the ID. It will take you to the page. Scroll down and you can see the key. And you're just going to go ahead and copy this key and paste it into the input parameters. If you don't already have a key and it says you have zero keys over here on the uh, home page, all you have to do is at the top where it says register, go ahead and click register. It won't let me do that because I actually exceeded my key limit because it used to be unlimited, but now it's three keys per account and I have seven. So what you're going to do is when you go ahead and click register, I won't be able to show you because I don't have permission to um, because I don't have any extra keys, but it will ask you for a label. You're just going to name this home PC or some my PC, whatever you want to label it as. Your host name will most likely be other, and then you'll type home hosted. Um, that's just something that happens quite a lot. They used to have a home hosted option, but they do not anymore. So if you um, want, if you're doing home hosting, which is what we're doing in this video, you'll type other, uh, select other, and then type home hosted. Then it will ask you for your IP, and to get your IP, you're just going to type in what is my IP4 address. Go ahead and click on that page, and you can see IP4 checking. It can be any website really, and you're, this is going to be the IP you're going to select. If it says it cannot resolve your 5M server on that IP when you start it, you need to make sure you have your firewalls disabled or at least whitelisted for the 5M port. You could even uh, check your router for any um, uh, ports or anything that are being blocked because you're going to need to open up the 5M uh, ports if you want other players to connect. I will not be going over that in this video, but I will have a video soon on that as well. And then you're just going to go ahead and take that key it gives you and exactly the same thing I did earlier. Throw it in the license key section, click run recipe, and it will go ahead and say, hey, we are setting it up. And it will open up this folder with the resources and server.cfg. The resources folder will be where you're going to throw all of your custom resources that you install. Go ahead and click next and it will say configure the server.cfg file. You're just going to keep it at what it has here. You can go ahead and change the host name um, and I'm just going to get rid of the built by CFX uh, and just keep it BHG development server. Your license key is listed there as well. Well, all your resources are there go ahead and click run and save and run server and it will give you this nice little GUI which will always be accessible when the server is open at localhost 40120 so if you want to use this um, nice little console you are free to do so they have a dashboard they get a player list you can ban the players if you want to you can whitelist them there's a server log you can even edit your server CFG file from this little um, GUI window thing you can do diagnostics and stuff on it on the host machine and the I, uh, admin machine and everything. You got an admin manager, so you can add accounts to it if you want play, uh, other people to be able to access this page. You got a whole log of how it um, is running, and you got your settings, so you can change the server name, back up your databases, import bands, reset the server, which files, if you want one sync on or off, if auto start should be on or off, if there should be scheduled restarts, player managers, do you want whitelists, um, and you can even have a Discord bot integration as well which is really really cool all right so you can also see in the bottom we have started we actually have three windows open um, this is normal you're just gonna go ahead and minimize these these two are uh, your actual consoles which is just gonna be mirrored from the TX admin page as well so we have successfully created our 5m server um, that's all you really have to do if you want to go ahead and install your resources you go to the TX data folder in your local data folder and you're just gonna go ahead and go in here and then click your server and then your resources folder and then that's where you would throw all your resources and then you would edit your server.cfg file to go ahead and add those uh, just like any other resources we normally do. Um, now that we have that installed we're going to go ahead and launch 5M and connect to the server. Now that we are inside 5M, all you have to do is go ahead and click the play button, and you're just going to type localhost at the top, and sometimes it takes a second, but there we go, BG development server, go ahead and click connect. It will go ahead and say whatever name you set up there, so if it says like my server or whatever, it will be set up there, and you can see we are in the loading screen, which means we are successfully connecting to the server. Just to make sure we're connecting, we can go ahead and open up that little uh, panel or even the um, opened up uh, window thing, I don't know what to call this command line and you can see connecting noodles so we know we have successfully connected to our server um, and just in a second we're going to be able to get in here I've been having a lot of problems with 5n recently so I may actually not be able to see anything when I get into the server 
Uh, yep, okay, so my graphics pack is messed up, but you can see we're actually in the server and we can go ahead and use stuff, so that is really, really cool. Anyway, that is how you set up a 5M server. I'm sorry I can't see anything in-game, but hopefully that does help you out, and hopefully the new method is a lot easier than the old message. Um, ESX coming soon with the same type of system and a lot of cool stuff, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.